Hey YouTube, it's me Nikki Z, and I'm excited to share with you guys some of my favorite lipsticks for fall. Um, I'll be honest, there's probably like 30 <laughs> of my favorite lipsticks. When you have over, I probably have, a, I think maybe over 300 lipsticks. When you have so many, you kind of like love them all. They're like your babies, you know, and it's just, it's a weird love relationship that I have with them. Anywho, um, <coughs> lipstick addict. <coughs> um, basically, I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorites, and I decided to break them up into like a part one video, a part two, and a part three. That way, I don't have to cram them all within the same video. So, I'm going to go ahead and start. The first lipstick I'm going to talk about here is by MAC, and it is the color Tribalist, which is a beautiful, like, deep red. And just for the sake of like swatching, yeah. So there is Tribalist, a very, very pretty color. It's pretty deep, but then again, like, it's fall. Obviously, bright reds, deep reds are phenomenal. So there's that. And I'm going to take another one. And that one will be a Kat Von D lipstick. This is in Berenice, Berenice, and it's a foiled love lipstick, which is a very pretty shimmery red. Now this is a very, very hot shade for like Christmas time. I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna wear this a lot, so expect it. <clears throat> so it has this like chrome metallic, um, like shimmer to it. It is so pretty, like I absolutely love it. I can picture, this lipstick, a cat eye, and maybe some victory rolls, and boom. So, yeah. Definitely a really nice color for fall. And the next one I'm going to show you guys. This one is by Bite Beauty. It is in the shade Cranberry. I absolutely love, love the bite pencils. So just another deep, bright red. It is fabulous. And there's no glitter, no shimmer to this one. So I think it's a little bit more classy. Um, but yeah, there's that one in Cranberry. And I'm going to go ahead and get the other ones ready real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, um, so I have a few more. Well, actually, just a little bit more than a few more. Anywho, um, one that I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real fast. Actually, a few are from the same company. This is from Lunatic Labs. This is the Apocalyptic in the shade Bruja. Now, as you can see, this is kind of like a gray purple. It's super neat. I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that for you guys. Okay. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see that well enough, but it is a, it's a unique color and I, I really, really love it. So there is that. And I'm sorry, my boyfriend's watching a movie in the next room, so he has it up pretty loud.
Okay. So that was Bruja. This is going to be Cinderella. And it is by the same company, Lunatic Labs. This is like a very neat magenta berry red. It is beautiful. So let me go ahead and get that on for you. Now it's not going to be perfect because I'm like quickly putting this on, but okay. So here is Cinderella, just a very berry kind of color. I love it. I have a black turtleneck that I'm planning on wearing this with, with like a pencil skirt and. Ladies and gents, let me tell you, I will feel super fancy. But yeah, so there's that. And the staying power of those are pretty good too, by the way. Okay. Moving on, here is a Kat Von D Painted Love Lipstick, and this is in Hellbent. See that? It's like mm, red. Okay. So. Okay. There it is. Bright red. Super in your face. Super pretty. If you are pale or you have really deep skin, you need to get your hands on this because it is, it is sexy, okay? It is just downright sexy. And let's move on. I know some of these may be really hard for me to get off my lips, so I've been kind of waiting to the end before I put them on. All right. Here is a Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream in the shade Promise, which is super pretty. It's just a nice red. I I like, I was like about to say something and then I was like, sniff. Um, I absolutely love, love, love the Tarte Lip Surgeon's formula, and it smells so minty. It's so neat. Like, it's just really neat. I love it. It's very refreshing. And it's a very light formula, very moisturizing. So, there is Promise. Just a really nice kind of it looks, it's almost like a satin, I guess. Um, more of, yeah, a little bit shiny, but not so much. So more of a, a satin finish. And there's no shimmer, no glitter. Beautiful. All right. My poor lips are getting so abused today. They're going to be like beet red and not because of the lipstick, but because I've rubbed on them so much. Okay. Okay. All right, here is another red from Tarte. This is Fiery. And yeah, so, ooh. Okay, it looks like it's getting a little banged up on the side, so I'm gonna have to be very careful with this. And this is super pretty because it is matte. Okay. It's a very pretty matte red here. And again, with the mintiness, very light. I 
really, really enjoy Tarte's lip products. They are just amazing. And their blushes. I am a sucker for their gel br their, uh, gel brushes. This doesn't make any sense. Uh, gel blushes. Oh man, those are just fabulous. They're always like extremely natural looking and a little bit goes a long way. And they make me feel like a rock star. Okay. Now we're getting to some pretty deep colored and a few bright colored lipsticks. Um, right here is Max Ladybug. And it is a bright red. This one is more of like a classic bright red. It is a luster though, so it's a little bit transparent. Has a little bit of that shine to it. Very nice, very pretty. I would suggest if you like lip gloss um, and you've never tried a MAC Luster, I think you should. Um, it's kind of like a glossy finish, obviously, as you can see. A little shininess there. But it's very lightweight, um, very moisturizing. Certain colors, like the pigmentation, can be really terrible, and I hate saying that with a MAC product because I like some, well, I like a majority of their products, but there are some things that I just not into. Some lip colors that are lusters, it's very hard to get like a true to color pigmentation. This one is very nice. And if you are new to reds and you kind of want to like, you know, step out and, and try that bright red look, try a red luster. I think that would be your best bet, especially for your first time with a, a red because just a little bit goes a long way, or you can do what I did and, you know, kind of coat it on a few times and get a little bit more pigmentation. I used to never wear red lipstick. Like, my mom was like, you can't wear red lipstick. And I just, I don't know, like, I just triggered, like, triggered. I, um, I conditioned myself to think I should never wear it because my mother was always on me about it. So, which is no fun, but I never got in trouble for it. So that's cool. All right, moving on. I'm going to do a purple and then I'm going to do some like deep, deep crimson reds. And those are going to be so much fun. So for the purple, I have here the matte LA girl flat finish pigment gloss. You guessed it. This is like bright freaking purple. Reds are in for fall, obviously, but purples, why not? So, and boy howdy, is this thing pigmented. Do you see that? That is like in your face, bright freaking purple. But um, it's kind of fun. <laughs> Anyways, um, these matte pigment lip glosses are amazing. They are amazing. I think I own six or seven of them. I'd love to own them all. And don't get me wrong, I own some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks, like the liquid lipsticks. I don't really like them. I know, it's weird. Everyone's probably going to be like, what? But I really don't like them. You'll never see me, like, using them in a tutorial. Like, I get this weird film ring. It's just gross. Let's just not even talk about it. So I regret buying those. I regret all of those, in fact. Um, however... When I found these, they were a lot cheaper. I really wasn't expecting much. 
You guys see that? Mm-hmm. I love it. It lasts so long. It's amazing. It is a good time. So if you don't want to pay the 20 plus bucks for one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks, try to give one of these a shot. If you get a chance to get them, do. You will love it. They are fabulous. And it's going to be probably pretty hard to get off. Let me see here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I got some on my teeth. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like the Joker right now. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this stuff is like kind of hardcore. Now you guys are going to laugh at me, but I can't deal with this. <laughs> it kind of ruined my foundation a bit. <laughs> so I know. I'm going to totally like use the beauty blender and kind of blend it out. Oh, it's like red and purple all around my lips. So don't laugh at me. This is it's entertaining, but <laughs> Oh boy. I have to use concealer. I'm sorry. Cuz this is just crazy right now. <laughs> Some of these uh, lip products kind of stain. <laughs> so I have this like ring of like pink all around my lips. <laughs> okay, now um, this is where it's going to get fun. Okay, we're going to do the bright reds. Like a lot of them actually, basically all the ones I have left minus this one are all ColourPop, so I hope you guys are excited because I love ColourPop. Um, here is another matte flat finish pigment gloss from LA Girl. This one, you guessed it, it is in Rebel, and I have worn this thing so many times. I love it. I, I mean, you guys can see it on Instagram, like I've used it in tutorials. I mean, it's so fabulous. Do you guys see this? Yeah, it's like deep and beautiful. Now, I do believe they have a darker color, too, from the line. And I do not own it, but if I could get my hands on it, you bet I would. Which, I'm looking for it, so. Honestly... This is like the best party lipstick. It really is. So if you're thinking, hey man, I'm going to be drinking for like New Year's or Christmas, you know, f work parties, etc. Or just friend parties for the season. Um, you're going to want to have something that you don't have to retouch up. Especially if you're getting slightly buzzed and your makeup's not the first thing on your mind. It's, you know, like rushing to the powder room to fix your makeup. So I would suggest trying one of those. I... Seriously, I cannot say enough good things about them. So, mm-hmm. You guys feel me? Rebel is the shit. So, yeah. That color would be amazing on any skin tone. You guys need to give Rebel a shot. And, yeah, they... <laughs> I'm going through the same issue. Like, with my foundation. Oh, well. Who cares? <laughs> okay. There's a few more left. And I'm going to try to scoot forward and go through these pretty quickly. Some of them may look very similar. Here is Bichette from ColourPop. And it is a deep red, but it's a little bit brighter than the others that I have here. Um, so that is Bichette.
and it is beautiful. This is a really nice, like, pin-up red. So here's Pichette. Isn't it gorgeous? It's like bright. Um, it, I think it's, yeah, it's a matte. It's gorgeous. It feels a little bit dry, but really like it's moisturizing enough that it's not like, it's not caking at all. So the ColourPop lipsticks, they last on my lips quite a bit um, longer than a lot of like drugstore lipsticks. So that is fantabulous. I greatly appreciate their product. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this one off. So last time, Bichette. Ooh. And I'm going to move on to some deep, dark colors. Dark like my soul. No, I'm just kidding. I'm too nice to have a dark soul. So my lips, as you can see, they're kind of stained at this point. <laughs> they definitely don't look natural <laughs> by any means. I'm going to go ahead and get another wipe out real fast just to be safe. Okay. And the next one I'm going to use is Elari. It's a matte from ColourPop. This is a lot darker than Bichette. So I hope you guys are ready. This is a matte, like, blood red. It is beautiful. Well, more like a, I guess, a vampire red. Not really a blood red. Depends on, like, which army of darkness slash... Bruce Campbell film you're watching, I guess. It could be overly done blood, it could be campy, you know, whatevs. Yep. So here is Alari. I hope that I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, oh well. Um, yeah, so just a nice, like a deep matte. This is, this is gorgeous. I would suggest if you're looking for like a Halloween red. Mm-hmm. Or you just kind of want to have like that vixen, voluptuous red. Another thing I think that would be really fun with this is possibly taking like a black liner or a black, um, I guess, eyeliner or lip liner, going along the edges and then taking a brush and kind of blending it in. I really feel like that ombre look with this color specifically would just be drop dead sexy. So there's that. Now we're going to move on Speaking of, I love Bruce Campbell So that's why I brought him up Bubba Hotep was very entertaining Sending an Evil Dead's always fun Okay Poor lips are so red. Now there's three more. I'm gonna go ahead and go with LBB. Not really sure what that's supposed to stand for by ColourPop. And I believe this one turns a magenta on my lips. So we'll see. Yeah. It's gonna be like a deep red with a berry to it. Okay. Yeah, um... Whatever it is he's watching sounds very intense. Um, 
Yeah. LBB. It's got like a hint of like a magenta berry to it slightly. Um, not your typical red, but it is beautiful. So absolutely gorgeous. And I have two more guys. I hope you guys are excited because I am. And this stuff is like all over my face. Oh, crap. Whoa. It totally stains, too. <laughs> I'm going to have to, like, scrub my poor face. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with Creature. I have worn this in a few tutorials, I do believe, and I know that I've worn it. Um, I have, yeah, worn it a few times on Instagram. This is almost black. It's, like, it's such a deep red. It is matte, which is super sexy. Um, I mean, I'm sure the light is not really doing this bad boy justice. Let me just show you guys. All right, so it's kind of all over the place, but anywho, this is seriously like almost black. It is just such a deep crimson red. It is glorious. If you have the balls to wear this, you, you should. You should. Anyone and everybody should rock this, whether you are deep skin, medium skin, pale, doesn't matter what undertone you have. This is a red that's universal, but it, it, it is very bold, obviously. So you got to be brave enough for it. I'm sure quite a few of you are looking for a shade like this. Do it. Don't even think about it. Just do it. And you just rock those lips because it is super fun. Um, I wore it a few times to work. I got some looks. I don't care. I don't even care. I loved it. I had fun. That's all that matters, right? That's the one thing I love about a red lipstick. It can seriously give you confidence. Um, like I said, I used to never wear reds, and then now I do. And I just feel like I look banging. I'm like, Psh, I got red lipstick. The boyfriend doesn't really like it, though. There's a few he can handle, but I don't care. I don't wear it for him. I wear it for me. And that's all that matters. All right, now I'm ready for this, and I'm. I hope you guys are, too. This is Feminist, and it is a black-purple color. Oh, look at that. I know. I know what you're thinking. Isn't it awesome? Yeah, let's totally rock this. So, again, it's kind of like a purple-black, and this is going to be very interesting. And I've worn this one to work as well, and I loved every second of it. When I wore it to work, I actually did an ombre with, uh, I think it was Brills, which is like a, a weird off, it's like an, a purple toned, um, or a blue toned purple that's really neat. It's very light and pretty, and I had it on the inside, and it was interesting. Oh boy. Now, I get this color is not for everyone, but it is definitely fabulous. If you are brave enough to wear this, you should. Um, it looks black on camera, I think, anyways, from what I'm seeing, but I assure you, it is absolutely not. It's almost like a brown-purple. It's just so cool. Like It's a unique color, and... Um, I've always wanted a color like this, and it was just really hard to find. It's kind of like my love for Bruja and, um, what was that? RPG from Apocalypse Sticks, or the Apocalypse Sticks from Lunatic Labs. I have a passion for those colors because I've always wanted them, but nobody sold them. Like, it was just so hard to find. It wasn't common. 
It, you know, and back then I had like crazy hair, which, spoiler alert, I'm dyeing my hair again. Probably purple, blue, and green at the same time. So I'll see. Um, but I just love bold, crazy looks. It's just a part of me. It's part of who I am. It's my style. It's my personality. And the way we present ourselves, that's just a part of our personality. So it's like an extension of us in a sense. And yeah, this totally rocking it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. There's so many more I want to share with you. It was so hard to pick all, just like the ones that I chose. Um, yeah, so I may end up doing another video just to throw some more in just because it was very, very hard. Like, I'm not even kidding. I, I was like meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Like, it was a rough time for me. But obviously, I can't be on here forever. So battery's about to die. I appreciate you guys watching and tuning into the video. Let me know what your favorite color of lipstick is for fall. I am so excited for fall. Again, this is my season, guys. It's my jam. I love it. And I want to know what you guys are excited for. So let me know what colors you guys like, um, what your favorite brand is of lipstick. Um, if there's a new brand or a brand that I haven't mentioned here, please Drop me a line, drop a message, comment, let me know. I'm looking for new brands to try, of course, and I'd love to hear from you guys. So your suggestions and recommendations are very important to me. Thank you guys. You guys have a great day.